Welcome to another GNU Cash Quick Start Tutorial. I'm Laura from the BusyBeePost.com and in this tutorial I will show you how to reconcile the GNU Cash checking account. And I will go over what to do if you find yourself in the middle of a reconciliation and you can't complete it at the present time and you need to stop and get back to it later. If you like my tutorials and find them helpful Please subscribe and don't forget to give a thumbs up. Let's begin. One of the most important things you will do in GNU Cash is reconciling your bank account. Regularly reconciling your accounts helps to maintain the accuracy of your financial records and ensures that there are no discrepancies between your GNU Cash checking account records and your physical banking statements. Reconciling is normally done on a monthly basis. This process helps to ensure that your financial records accurately reflect the transactions in your physical bank account. Before you begin, it's a good idea to check your bank statement for any bank service charges. You may have been charged during the month, which is not listed in your GNU Cash checking account, and enter the transactions in the appropriate account before you begin reconciling your accounts. This way you can minimize your chances of having any discrepancies once you start reconciling the account. Don't worry about any interest payments you may have received. You will have the option of entering the interest payments once we start the reconciliation process. Now let's begin. Inside the checking account in the reconcile column it has a N meaning these transactions are new and have not been reconciled. Here you'll also notice I have two months of unreconciled records which I left like that for this particular example. On the bottom of the screen you can see information on the status of the account. Here it tells me the amount in the account and that nothing has cleared or been reconciled. To begin Make sure you have the GNU Cash bank account you want to reconcile to your bank statement selected and highlighted. In this example, I have my checking account highlighted. To begin reconciling the bank account, select the Actions menu on the toolbar. And when the menu opens, select Reconcile. When the dialog box opens, enter the statement in date of the statement period from your checking account bank statement. For example, I'm reconciling a bank statement which lists transactions starting on September 1 and ending on September 30th. In the date field, I will change the date to the ending date of the statement which is September 30th. The starting balance cannot be edited, but it should reflect the balance from the previous reconciliation. And it should match the starting balance in your statement if everything was entered correctly previously. Now, sometimes the starting balance in GNU Cash doesn't match the amount on your statement. And this can happen the first time you reconcile your account or when a previously reconciled transaction is dereconciled or deleted. The first time you reconcile your account, the starting balance will be zero. When you reconcile the account, the opening balance for the account will be included in the reconciliation and the results should balance. The ending balance is the total amount I should have had in my checking account at the end of September. Here I will select the checkbox to include the subaccounts. And if you received any interest payments from your checking account as listed on your banking statement, select the interest payment tab. And when the window opens, in the amount field, enter the amount. Here I will enter $1. The information you fill in here is the same data that will be posted to the checking account register automatically. You can change the date by clicking on the drop down arrow Here's where I will change the date to the statement ending date, September 30th. You can enter a description if you like and any other information you would like to fill in. On the bottom where it says payment from, 
select the interest income account or whatever account you have set up to post interest income. By default, GNU Cash has a interest income account, which I will select here. On the other side, the reconcile account has the checking account pre-selected and cannot be changed here since it is the account we selected as the one we're reconciling. Now we can select OK to finish up. Back on the Reconcile Information dialog box, I can see the $1 interest has been added to the ending balance. It was $430 and now it's $431. I will select OK to proceed to the Reconcile window. Here on the Reconcile screen, you have Funds In, which are your deposits, and Funds Out, which are your withdrawals. On the bottom, you can see I have an ending balance of $431 and nothing has been reconciled so therefore the difference is also displaying four hundred and thirty one dollars begin reconciling the account by selecting the transactions that appear on your bank statement by clicking on the check boxes next to each transaction here I see the one dollar interest I added and the other transactions for the month of September once you're finished marking off all the transactions as shown on your bank statement, the difference amount on the bottom should be zero, as shown here, meaning there is no difference between what is on your bank statement and what you have listed in your GNU Cash checking account. When finished, you can select Finish on the toolbar to finalize the reconciliation. Now, back inside your checking account, you should see a Y for each transaction that has been reconciled. And the status on the bottom will also be updated. Now I'm going to take a moment and show you what you can do if you need to stop reconciling an account because maybe you're missing a transaction or for whatever reason you need to stop in the middle of reconciling a long list of transactions. I will show you how to go back and continue later where you left off at. Let's begin. Here I have the month of October that needs to be reconciled. And you can tell these transactions still need to be reconciled because of the N in the reconciled column, which means no, there's still new unreconciled transactions. I will select Action and then Reconcile on the menu bar. On the Reconcile Information dialog box that opens, everything appears to check out. The new statement ending date is October 31st, and the starting balance is my September ending balance, and October's ending balance of $630.50 is correct. I will select Include Subaccounts and then select OK. On the Reconciliation screen, that opens, you'll notice the difference amount will be the dollar amount of the new transactions for the month you're working on. Here on the funds and the funds out screen, I see the $99.75 and the $5.99, but in this case, I have not yet received all the information yet on the $105.74 deposit. Now what you can do if you need to continue later is to select the postpone button on the toolbar. If you don't see it, use the drop down arrow and select it. And when the dialog box appears asking if you want to postpone the re reconciliation, select yes. This way you can go back and continue at a later date when where you left off. Now when you look back at your checking account, you should see a C in the reconcile column for any transactions that have not been reconciled yet. The C means it has been cleared, meaning it has been verified but not reconciled. For example, the $99.75 and the $5.99 has a C in the reconcile column because those are the transactions I checked on the reconcile screen. The one transaction I left unchecked has an N in that column, the 105.74, meaning it has not been reconciled or cleared. Now that I have all the information I need to reconcile my account, 
I can go back and continue where I left off. And all I have to do is check off the rest of the transactions for the month I am working on. And once I have a zero difference, I can select finish on the toolbar and back on the checking account screen, everything has been updated to reflect the completed reconciliation, including a Y for yes, indicating all of October transactions have been reconciled. And that's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single episode. See you in the next video.